Beautiful. And once we're familiar with controlled inputs, why don't we work on a small challenge? And first, what I want you to do, if you haven't done that already, go to app JSX and look for zero two user challenge. And this is what you should see on a screen. Basically, I prepared a form. Now, I didn't set up any functionality. Again, it's just a straight up form. You'll have to do all of the work. And as you can see, in this case, we're just using one input. That's it. That's pretty much the only difference. And as far as the challenge, well, it's following. So first, create a controlled input. And in my case, I'm going to call this name and you'll see why it actually makes sense. Then set up on submit, basically for now, just a placeholder. Don't worry about the logic yet. If you can log that user has submitted the form, basically, if you have prevented the default and all that, you're in good shape. So first, set up those two things. Then I want you to import data array from data and just to jog our memory. It's over here. So this is what we want to get. We want to get this data array. And that's why we'll go with name input, because this is the property we have in the object. And once you have successfully imported the data, set up another state value. And in my case, I'm going to call this users and set the array as a default value. And I'm purposely being somewhat vague, because we have covered all of these things already. And then I want you to iterate over the list and display right after the form. So if we navigate to the user challenge, notice this comment over here. So this is where I want you to display the users that are in the array. Again, don't worry about the CSS. If you can see the name correctly displayed in a browser, you're in good shape. And at the very end, we want to set up following functionality. When the user submits the form, add a new person to the list. Now, if you find this one easy, you can work on extra challenge where I want you to add a button to whatever we're returning, basically the item, and set up the functionality to remove the user from the list. So if you're interested, work on this challenge. And once you're ready to compare the results, resume with the videos.